Hi, and welcome to the video on how to create a plot in Google Sheets. So for this reaction rates lab, you should have a data table that is filled in with data from the video. Um, and the part that you're filling in is the reaction time. The information that you see in this table is not what you're going to see in the video, so make sure you do not copy this information down. But I'm just going to go through the motions of how we're going to plot this for the first analysis question. All right, so for analysis question one, you um, are going to plot the reaction time, which is in the gray box, versus the volume of Na2S2O3, which is in this orange box. So if you're using Google Sheets to do this, the first thing you want to do is to, um, in Google, find the uh, apps boxes there. You're going to click on that, and you're going to find Google Sheets. Now, if it doesn't show up, then you may need to click. There should be more at the bottom to scroll and find it. But once you find Google Sheets, you're going to open that up. And then you're going to go to a blank document. Now, the data that we're going to plot in the x-axis, as it says here, is going to be the volume of Na2S2O3. So, and we're doing that for trials 1 through 5. So for the first column there, I'm going to type in this information, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right. Um, but before I do that, I want to actually title it volume of Na2S2O3. And um, I'm going to enter my information here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now I'm going to um, insert the information I have for my reaction time. So once again, the reaction time you have is you're going to get from your data video. It's not going to be these exact numbers. But for this video, just how to show you how to do it, I'm going to use these numbers here. So for my reaction time, I have 18, 15, 12, 9, and 6. And I'm going to type that in here. Um, oh, and before I do that, of course, I want to label this reaction time. So 18 and 15, then 12, 9, and 6. So the reaction time and the volume are here. And what you want to do then is you want to click on the leftmost box. Um, holding down the shift key so you can highlight all the boxes you'll click down the bottom right box so basically you just want to highlight all of this information here once you've done that you can go to insert and so insert up at the top go to chart and it'll insert a chart for you now if in my case this is the chart i want i want a line chart but let's say for example when you first plot it you get a chart that looks like this Okay, so if you get a chart that looks like this, you want to edit that chart. Okay, and what you can do, there should be three. If you click on the upper right corner, there are three little boxes there. It says edit the chart, and then this should come up the chart editor. Make sure it's under setup. So on this, on setup, and then underneath that, it says chart type. And from there, you want to look for the line chart. So it could be at, under the suggested. Um, if it's not under the suggested, you would have to find it by scrolling down. Okay, and then so once you get that, you'll have the chart there. Now the last thing you need to do with this chart is you actually need to copy this into your document. And you'll notice that um, it has the title and on the and also labels the Y and X axis for you. So you don't have to worry about doing that, which is great. Um, so to copy the chart is real simple. If you right click, um, sorry, if you click, if you highlight the chart, uh, you can go to then copy or just use control C. So just, so once again, you just click on the chart and you can go to edit and copy, or you can just do control C. And since it's a Google doc, if you're using Google sheets, it's a Google doc, it will, you can just simply paste it into the document. So here we go. Now, sometimes when you paste it, an option will come up. So it will ask you if you want to paste it linked when it says that if it does say that paste linked um that just means that if you if you paste it as a linked file or a linked image um 
let's say you change the information here. So let's say I make that go from three to from six to three. Notice how my chart change changed. If it's a linked uh, file, then it will change automatically in the Google Doc. I usually opt uh, to not link it just so that I don't have to worry about um, if it, if my Google Sheets accidentally gets changed. Anyway, so that's how you would create um, the chart. And then you would, for Honors Chem, you're going to use this chart to help you answer question number two. For Fundamentals of Chemistry, you can do that optionally. All right, that's it for this video. Have a quality day.